When you are working with LEDs like I do, then one of the biggest questions at the beginning is how can I control the brightness of this LED? And I'm going to tell you an easy way which you can accomplish with or without an Arduino microcontroller. It is called PWM, which stands for Pulse with Modulation. And with this knowledge you will be able to dim all kinds of LEDs like normal 5mm LEDs, LED strips, high power LEDs and many more. I'm gonna use this basic green LED with a forward voltage of 3.2 volts as the test subject. Here I'm powering it with my bench power supply at 3.2 volts. The secret of dimming is so simple I feel kind of stupid telling it to you right now. When I crank up the voltage the LED draws more current and will eventually burn out. But if I lower the voltage underneath the forward voltage level, less current will be consumed and the LED gets darker. And that, my friend, is the secret. Lower voltages. But normally you don't want to use a variable bench power supply. You want to use a fixed voltage, like let's say 5 volts or 12 volts. Some people might say, just use a potentiometer in series to the LED which is sometimes the easiest and fastest solution. But when you want to dim a high power LED, there is a problem. Firstly, you waste energy because the potentiometer heats up, because it's just a variable resistor in the end. And secondly, your potentiometer must be really beefy and expensive when you want to survive dimming LEDs, which require much current like long LED strips. So that's bullshit. Let's look at PWM. On my old crusty oscilloscope we can see the way PWM works. We are still using 5 volts to power the LED, but not constantly. We switch between 5 volts and 0 volts, so the LED turns on and off really fast, which we can't see with our eyes. The duty cycle describes the on time in one period. The LED is fully bright with 100% duty cycle and it gets darker while lowering the duty cycle. For example 50% duty cycle represents around 2.5 volts and 20% duty cycle represents around 1 volt. Now you can host your own rave. Okay, just saying. This is the basic theory of PWM. Now how to create the square signal? Firstly the Arduino. The analog write function can generate those signals. We just have to feed it with a value between 0 and 255. 0 means 0 volts and 255 means 5 volts. So 100 is around 1.95 volts. Here I am using a potentiometer as an analog input to control the value of the analog write function and therefore to dim the LED on the PWM pin 3. And of course you can download the sketch and all schematics. Link is in description. But sometimes you just don't want to waste the microcontroller. No problem. The grandfather of all electronic hobbyist ICs is here. The 555 timer chip. It is easy to wire and you can control the duty cycle again with a potentiometer when you use this schematic. The pin 3 then spits out our rectangle signal or we can use it directly if we only need 20 milliamps. I'm always using a MOSFET when I either need more power or want to use a higher voltage, for example with this LED strip. The PWM signal goes to gate, negative side of my LED to drain and ground to source. That was my quick and hopefully easy to understand dimming tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and also you can now follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus to see some behind the scenes action, informations about upcoming projects and news about my channel. And I will see you next time.